Hello friends, welcome in Arsul Technical Campus. Today, in Power Electronics subject, we have to learn the new topic that is the Silicon Controlled Array Prefire. Short form of this is SCR. See, SCR is nothing but Silicon Controlled Rectifier. Now, first question arises, why do we have to learn the SCR? The SCR is a thyristor or power electronic device which is used in many more the applications such as heat control, level control, power supplies, in battery chargers, then uh, motor, uh, motor speed control, etc. are the applications of the SCR and uh, for that uh, due to these applications it is used in industrial as well as commercial purpose and main, uh, main advantage or main uh, application is SCR is used as an automatic switch hence it is a more needful device in today's life. Hence, we have to learn this SCR. SCR is a high power, high current and high voltage control device. Hence, we have to learn this. Now, we will start it from the symbol. C. First C. Symbol of SCR. I will draw the symbol. This is the symbol of SCR. SCR symbol is uh, like the same as the diode. But only one difference is there that additional terminal is drawn and this additional terminal is called as a gate terminal. Now, this symbol having three terminals. First terminal is anode, second is cathode and third one is gate. These are the three terminals of the SCR, anode, cathode and gate. This anode side is nothing but P region and this cathode side is nothing but L region. And gate pulse is used for triggering purpose. Now, next point from this SCR is the construction. See, the construction of SCR. Basically, SCR is a four layer structure. I will draw the construction diagram for the SCR. SCR is four layer structure having alternate P and N layer there. P and P. Yeah. These are the four layers. As in previous symbol we learned, the uh, SCR having the three terminals, anode, gate and cathode. Same in construction diagram, I will show three terminals, anode, cathode and gate. These are the three terminals, four layers and this construction is a vertical oriented structure because I will draw these diagrams vertically. Then it has three junctions, junction J1, junction J2 and junction J3. These are the three junctions present in the SCR. Now next point we will start that is the working principle of SCR. Working principle of SCR. Basically the working principle of SCR is categorized into two parts or divided into two parts. First part is without gate pulse. Without gate pulse. And second part is with gate pulse. With gate pulse. Now, what is the difference between these two? Without gate pulse means when I will connect the battery, this battery will be connected between the between the anode to cathode terminal and without gate pulse means gate pulse is open in this case. In first case without gate pulse means gate pulse does not provide it to this SCR only anode to cathode supply is provided and with gate pulse means anode to cathode we have to connect the battery as well as we have to provide the gate pulse or we can say that gate current we have to provide to this gate terminal. This is the basic difference between now, see one by one. First is without gate pulse. I will draw the diagram for without gate pulse. First is 
विदाउट गेट पर्स विदाउट गेट पर्स आई विल ड्रॉ दिस डायग्राम फोर लेयर स्ट्रक्चर इज देयर पी एंड पी एंड हैविंग थ्री टर्मिनल्स एनोड कैथोड एंड के हैविंग थ्री जंक्शन जंक्शन जे वन जंक्शन जे टू एंड जंक्शन जे थ्री नौ फॉर वर्किंग प्रिंसिपल आई हैव टू कनेक्ट द बैटरी फर्स्ट बैटरी आई विल कनेक्ट बिटवीन एनोड टू कैथोड प्लस माइनस दिस बैटरी इज कनेक्टेड बिटवीन एनोड टू कैथोड हेज नेम इट एज अ वी ए के दैट इज वोल्टेज बिटवीन एनोड टू कैथोड एंड विदाउट गेट पर्स मीन्स नो एनी सप्लाई इज प्रोवाइडेड टू गेट पर्स दिस इज द ओपन टर्मिनल नाउ सी वॉट एपन इन दिस केस नाउ दिस पॉजिटिव इज कनेक्टेड टू द टी रीजन दिस निगेटिव इज कनेक्टेड टू द एन रीजन means we can say that this junction j1 is in forward bias now see again this battery positive terminal is connected to n type negative is connected to the p type means we see for the junction j2 and junction j2 goes in reverse bias now see for junction j3 C for junction J3. For junction J3, this P region is connected to the positive of the battery. N region is connected to the negative of the battery. Means your junction J3 is in again goes in forward bias. As we know, in forward bias, current flows through the device and reverse bias. Only small amount of current flows through the device, and this small amount of current is called as a leakage current or reverse saturation. this current does not turn on the device only when device is turned on only when it is in forward bias means we can say that due to this junction j2 it does not get turned on then how it will get turned on for that purpose we have to increase this battery supply we have to increase this battery supply when this battery supply get increased means current start going through anode to cathode as junction j1 and junction j3 will be forward bias means easily current will flow from the j1 and j3 because electron and hole can cross the junction j1 as well as junction j3 hence there is no problem for flowing the current only problem is arises at the junction j2 but due to increase in this battery supply as one after some limit or after certain limit this depletion layer present at junction j2 will get break due to increasing this vak and current start flowing from anode to cathode and ecr get turn on ecr get turn on when current will flow from anode to cathode but in this case So there will be the problem arises that when we increase this VAK after certain limit, it may damage your ECR. Hence, it is not a uh, proper way to turn on the ECR. Now, what is the proper way? Then second method is applied. That is with gate points. Second method is there. Now with gate pulse or with gate current, 
means we have to provide the gate battery also. Gate is connected to the positive, cathode is connected to the negative and name it as IG current or supply is named at VG. That is the gate holding. Now what happened in this case? See, there will be three junctions, junction J1, junction J2 and junction J3. Now see, working principle, again see one by one all junctions we have to check. First of all, this positive terminal is connected to the P region, negative is connected to the N region. Again, this junction J1 is in forward bias. Junction J1 is in forward bias. C4 junction J2, as this positive is connected to the N region, negative is connected to the P region, means this junction J2 goes in reverse bias. Now see third case, this positive is connected to the P region, negative is connected to the M region, means junction J3 goes in forward bias, right? Now same problem will arise, what is the problem? That junction J2, here depletion layer will be created and due to this depletion layer, current does not cross, the uh, holes on the uh, electrons does not cross the junction J2. And due to this problem, the current does not flow through the junction J2. Now, what is the solution? Solution is that we provide the gate points. Due to this positive terminal is connected to P region, means it will help to holes to cross these junctions due to the positive supply. Means positive is connected to the P region, means it will help to convert this junction J2 or to minimize the depletion layer present at junction J2. Due to this reducing depletion layer, current will easily flow from anode to cathode. Current will flow from current flow from anode to cathode. Easily flow from anode to cathode means SCR gate turned on and this is the safe method to turn on the SCR because we, we have to put this VAK, that is the voltage between anode to cathode, within a limit. Because of the additional supply is given, that is the VG. It, it will help to turn on the uh, SCR without increasing this VAK. These are the two, two methods in working principle, that is without gate pulse and with gate pulse. Now, in next lecture, we learn the VI characteristics of the SCR. Thank you.